Hey, what's going on guys? Today we have something very different to look at and that is this gigantic 135th scale Brachiosaurus model kit. This is actually from a diorama set from Tamiya. Something totally different from what I've ever built before and it's going to be a really fun project to work on. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I'll show you guys what it looks like just built up straight out of the box and then we'll talk about what we're going to do with it next. All right, guys, so let's get into this massive kit, starting off with the gigantic box we've got here for this. It is huge, so we know we're in for some very large pieces in this one. We got some beautiful artwork here for the front of the box, not just the dinosaur illustration, but the design of the box art on this one is really cool. I really do like it. Just wanna make sure you guys can really get a good look at that illustration to really appreciate it. We got a lot of neck there. We got our Archaeopteryx right there, the juvenile Brachiosaurus down here and just everything you got going on down there. Very cool. It says up here, this is a 135th scale dinosaur diorama series number six, thoroughly researched and educational, highly accurate in scale and pose. Lifelike skin appearance includes display base. And on the side of the box here, we have a painting example of the young beast and walking with mouth open and this one standing with mouth closed camouflage pattern scheme so you have a couple of different color, uh, rec recommended color schemes there for that there's the Archaeopteryx uh, in a very out of scale illustration here compared to the Brachiosaurus but that's just for your reference there and on the other side here kind of cool showing some different sauropods there as like a size comparison here's our Brachiosaurus here at the end it's high 25 to 30 meters and then some other ones Neurosaurus, Supersaurus, what's that, Seismosaurus Amenchisaurus, giant sauropod dinosaurs. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's get this beast of a kit opened up. Right off the bat there, you can see that the kit is gonna be molded in gray. So we'll take a look at these runners here in just a moment. This one being pretty ridiculous. There's just massive piece there for the body. We do have a base and there's the juvenile one. Here we've got a sheet of Tamiya tech tips. So like some basic modeling uh, technique there but that's all in Japanese and then it looks like we've got kind of two different manuals here so this one would be our construction manual it looks like so Brach Brachiosaurus diorama set there's like a photograph of the kit but it's just there in black and white and actually I think what the difference is between these two books is that this one is all in Japanese so we have some information about the Brachiosaurus which is really cool different illustrations things like that and the actual construction guide for that shows you know I mean like it's gonna be a pretty simple kit as far as like the parts go it's only really a few parts but it shows you like where to glue and all of that and like how to set the pieces onto the diorama there so that'll be very interesting but over here this one we have all this information in English so like what is a brachiosaurus and I guess that would be German I'm gonna guess I'm not for sure about that and this one maybe French it looks like possibly so that's kind of interesting and it looks like yeah it's the same kind of information but we have here in English and in other multiple different languages so that's pretty cool and everything else in here is the same so yeah it's kind of cool how they give you one guide in Japanese and then the one in foreign languages even some painting tips here uh, preparing for painting by like filling your gaps there with putty uh, using a flat brush for brushing airbrush for like your base coat and then a flat brush for like uh, bringing out the details like of the scales kind of like dry brushing essentially basically how to paint the eyes and all that so very cool painting tips in there all right getting into the runners here is the a runner and there's your super long neck piece there it looks like that's maybe the back legs we've got pieces for those so everything's going to basically just be sandwiched uh, two pieces you just glue together two halves of the neck the legs are all just two halves you glue together there. But just give you a close up look at the details on that. It's eyes, ear, all the scales and everything. The B runner here with the gigantic body pieces and one of the front legs there it looks like. But just to give you guys a sense of how huge this is. I mean I'll give you a size comparison once we have it built together. But it is gigantic. And then the C runner is going to be the lower jaw pieces, feet pieces there, uh, a couple more legs, different jaw pieces. So I think you have some options as far as legs go if you want to have it just a standing or walking. So I'll have to think about how I want it to be posed. 
and you have this little plaque here as well, that'll be really awesome. Runner D here is going to be in this light sandy tan color where you've got like a couple of rocks that go on the diorama. You've also got your tiny little Archaeopteryx there. It's just like two pieces, one for the body and then one for the legs. Your just two halves for the juvenile Brachiosaurus. And then we also have a little kind of uh, paleontologist figure here in 1 35th scale as well. Lastly here in brown, which is actually runner Y there on the back, but this is our base piece here, of course, and that's it. All right, guys, so let's get into it. The review portion of this is going to be relatively quick because obviously there's not a whole lot to get into with this kit. It's gigantic. That's the main thing. It's not like it has like articulation and accessories, things like that, like that we normally see in the type of kits that we're normally reviewing here on this channel. But as you guys can see, there's still plenty of cleanup work left to be done on this kit. So here on the head, I've opted for the open mouth version. You can build it as either with the mouth open or with the mouth closed. With the mouth open, you have like this kind of tongue detail up in there. And again, like there's a seam line down the middle of that. That So far, all the seams are glued. So seam running down the neck and then between the neck and the body. Uh, but I still need to go in and put some putty into some of these larger gaps like around here. I'm just going to use some epoxy putty and just kind of stuff that in there as best as I can. Uh, the more difficult part too I think is going to be just removing these uh, seam lines. So right here this is where the uh, glue is coming out from where I pressed these parts together. I don't know what kind of like a Gundam or Mecha model kit you could just sand that down and it's easy enough but with this with all this detail in there you don't just want to sand away all that detail so that I think is going to be the challenge uh, with this kit. So you have like a sand, uh, seam line here between like the leg and the foot as well where that fits onto there. Underneath the feet, it, there is just empty space there except for the raised foot. And there's another option here, aside from the open mouth, you have an option with this leg, whether you want to make it straight or bent like this to make it look like it's walking. I obviously opted for the walking version of the leg. But the body was pretty incredible. These massive pieces, the tail and the body is all one. So at least you don't have a seam line between the tail and the body. This is all molded together. But again, just seam all the way down the end of that. The kit is gigantic. In height, it's roughly 43 centimeters tall. So it's huge. For a frame of reference, here is a standard size 1 44 scale Gundam model kit. And it comes up to about the shoulder of the Brachiosaurus. Somewhere around there, maybe barely even to there. And then you still have all that neck to go. Like I said before, it has no accessories. That's not entirely true because of course we do also have the base. So this one as well, these rock pieces were separate pieces that I've just gone ahead and glued down. So obviously some work gonna be required on this, but there's some nice textures and thing going on. And if you look closely, you can even see some like dinosaur footprints and that's not where the actual feet go. So those are just kind of like footprints in there and you have some detail over here like made to look like dried mud and then obviously just like your kind of stones and sand and stuff so this all just need to be painted and gone over with just different weathering supplies and stuff to make it look more realistic and of course our baby brachiosaurus here which is just two halves sandwiched together and so you have just seam line all the way down the middle of that and then across the bottom so I'll have to go ahead and work some putty here on the bottom of this too I think a little bit. You also just have your little 1 35th scale paleontologist figure here with camera and you also have this little base plate that you can glue that onto if you want for just like a thing for it to help stand on but it stands fine on its own you don't really need to use that. Same thing with the Archaeopteryx I've not even gone ahead and done any cleanup work on this yet but like the legs are a separate piece that will fit up into there. And then this does have a little display base for that as well if you want to have it standing. If you want to have it flying, I think this will be pretty easy to basically just modify the legs a little bit to have them tilted back. Again, you might have to use a little bit of putty or something. And then you just put it on a wire or something like that just off the kit to make it look like it's flying. Last thing then, of course, just our little plaque here. You have pieces on the stand on the back to help that just to stand up there. Brachiosaurus, late Jurassic, early Cretaceous, East Africa, North America. So just kind of some information on there. Uh, just painting this and doing a nice reverse wash on that, painting it like bronze or something like that. That'll look really nice to paint it up later on. But that's about it for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you how the model looks just with like a basic assembly straight out of the box. And from this point is where you go in with your modeling skills and techniques, painting and, you know, fixing up the kit more, making it more presentable, I guess, and then going into the painting and all your weathering and everything, effects and all that, anything else you might want to build into the diorama. I've got some ideas, but I'm still working on it. For now, I'm just going to work on some more of the cleanup, like preparation on the actual kit before we can get into painting it. And then I'll worry more about kind of how I want to actually set up the scene or whatever, if I'm going to be using anything else in the scene as well. These are things that will be covered in a 
future upcoming work in progress videos. So look forward to, to that in the near future. But for now, guys, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for checking this out. We don't sell these Tamiya dinosaur model kits here at USA Gundam store, unfortunately. But as always, the link to USA Gundam store will be down in the video description below where you can check out all sorts of other different cool model kits. This is just something that I'm personally interested in, you know, since I was a little kid, you know, growing up with Jurassic Park and all that. I always loved dinosaurs, so I wanted to try out one of these kits. And I gotta say, it's very cool. So I'm looking forward to working on this some more and sharing that with you guys in upcoming videos. But for now, thank you so much for checking out this video. So if you'd like to like the video or subscribe, that would also be greatly appreciated. But until next time, hope you guys are having a great day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.